Week 44 Day 1 Have we mastered our environment? Natural disasters tend to nullify the best efforts of mankind. It is as though there are forces at work that are contemptuous of our proud achievements. Who has not read of or seen the waters that deluge our towns and cities, jeopardizing lives and culminating in the destruction of the results of endless work in the space of a few moments? We are all vulnerable to feelings of futility as we view the carnage caused to cattle from the sudden inundation. Despite the laudable advances made in technology, it can be seen that we cannot yet say we have mastered our environment. Disasters of this type, leaving only pathetic vestiges of homes and shops, are accepted as inevitable, and all we can do is to attempt to ameliorate the conditions that result. Sample Sentences 1. In spite of his efforts to cajole the girl, she remained aloof, and the futility of his efforts made him lugubrious. 2. To our consternation, modern technology has made feasible a spate of lethal devices that could lead to the inadvertent destruction of the world. 3. In order to nullify the height advantage of his adversary, he abjured smoking and did an inordinate amount of exercise until he was the acme of lightness and dexterity. 4. We found it impossible to mollify the irate owner of three prize cats as he viewed the carnage caused by our large dog. 5. The office was deluged with requests for his autograph as the girls became cognizant of his identity. Week 44 Day 2 good news, and bad. One of the latent dangers indigenous to our constitutional guarantee of freedom of the press has to do with the protection of the individual against the detriment that might come from news reports involving him. There are libel laws that protect against false charges. If an individual believes his character or livelihood have been damaged by a defamatory article, he can sue. As the plaintiff he must refute the story and show how the defendant caused him harm by printing a canard. The defendant attempts to substantiate the truth of the article. The printing of news may besmirch an individual's character, but there is no way to alleviate this problem without changes in the Constitution. This would be tantamount to destroying the efficacy of our coveted right to learn the truth from the press. We all deprecate a situation in which someone suffers because of exposure in the newspapers. Only when the harm is caused by someone with a desire to malign under the guise of printing the news can the individual expect to win compensation through the courts. Sample Sentences 1. The mayor vehemently denied there was any antipathy between the governor and himself and blamed this canard on their political opponents. 2. I resent your defamatory remark that depicts me as a culprit. 3. The egregious calumny of the defendant worked to the advantage of the plaintiff. 4. Publishers of newspapers and magazines augment their staff with lawyers to represent them when they are sued for libel. 5. The cynic will deprecate the motives of anyone who tries to ameliorate the iniquities in our society. Week 44 Day 3 A Philosopher for Our Time Soren Kierkegaard was a Danish philosopher who is reputed to be the forerunner of the current vogue of existentialism. In appearance he was a frail and ungainly man. An extremely erudite thinker and writer, he was a potent force in propagating the new approach to life. His philosophy would excoriate those who believed that man could stand aside from life. In his philosophy it is a heresy to take a detached point of view. It is incumbent upon the individual to get involved. What is germane is not that we exist, but that our existence is determined by our acts. He was a religiously devout man who fervently believed that the individual is always paramount. Sample Sentences 1. Even though she was piqued at his indolent manner, it was pathetic to listen to her excoriate him in public. 2. His awesome mental dexterity compensated for his frail physical condition. 3. When Ben's muscles began to atrophy, the doctor initiated therapy with a potent new drug. 4. The drug is reputed to have a salubrious effect on nascent conditions of this type. 5. Although he was a devout adherent of the party, he remained aloof during the vitriolic primary campaign. Week 44 Day 4 The Island of Wild Dogs The saga of the introduction of that diminutive song bird, the canary, into the homes of the world as tame pets is an interesting one. 
In the 16th century a trading ship going to Italy stopped at an island named Canis, from the Latin word for wild dog, which could be found there in profuse numbers, off the coast of Africa. The dulcet song of the wild birds whetted the interest of the captain. In impromptu cages hundreds were taken aboard to be traded. The sailors called these grey-green birds, spotted with yellow, canaries. As they approached the island of Elba, near Italy, a malevolent storm put the boat in jeopardy of sinking. A member of the crew released the birds, and the intrepid canaries instinctively flew towards land. The peasants on Elba took the wild canaries in as pets. Eventually, the birds found their way into homes throughout Europe where they were domesticated and bred for variety of song and shades of colors. The canaries prevalent today differ greatly from the ones discovered over 400 years ago. Sample sentences 1. As the music reached a frenetic tempo, the audience lost all decorum and broke into impromptu dancing. 2. He had no qualms about opposing the clique who insidiously exerted a malevolent influence on the president. 3. The connoisseur was able to glean a worthwhile painting from the profuse variety of poor ones at the exhibit. 4. Europeans drive diminutive cars because their narrow roads and high prices for gasoline are not conducive to or compatible with our large ones. 5. The blasé devotee of the opera was awakened from his ennui by the dulcet tones of the new soprano.